If you won $10 million, what are literally the worst ways you could spend that money? Fire Festival VIP Suites. Putting it into a high interest savings account in Australia and watching it slowly become nothing due to interest rates dropping lower than inflation. Now you can help your Nigerian prince relative and you can reap the rewards of your royalty. Edit, WTF I actually switched to my alt account before commenting and now I have more karma on this account and gold. I'm an idiot. Joining up with the Church of Scientology and getting my Thetan on would be a pretty solid start. Edit, oh hi Karen. Microtransactions in freemium mobile games. Spending it on the lottery and winning back like 50 bucks lol. Years ago, I worked in a convenience store. One of my regulars had won $300,000 on a scratcher. Afterward, he would hit several stores and buy several hundred dollars in tickets, and then sit at Waffle House and scratch them all. My store was the last one on his route, as I was right next door to the said Waffle House. The waitresses said he never tipped. He blew through the whole thing in one year, and tried to bum money off of me for cigarettes. No thanks, dude. If I won $300,000, I'd give a quarter of it to charity. Not sure what I'd do with the other $299,999.75. Edit, this joke will be my Reddit legacy. Buy 50,000 truckloads of ripe avocado and have them dumped into the ocean. Beanie Babies. Hundreds of thousands of Beanie Babies. 10,000 Apple Pro Stands. Host an exact replica of Margaret Thatcher's funeral. Logan Paul merch. Bet it all on black. Edit, to those saying there's a 47.4% chance of doubling your money, I'm saying you bet on black continuously. You bet on black over and over and over again. That's a 100% chance to lose all your money. And it's a quick way to do it. Isn't there a certain nearly defeated group of international terrorists who'd like their little caliphate back? Aren't they a bit strapped for cash right now? Yeah. That'd be literally the worst way. Edit, well that blew up. So if anyone's wondering, in the real world, they're not really strapped for cash at all, and it's going to take years to actually defeat them. Worse than Plan H? Start a charity to feed the poor, donating much of your own money towards that goal. Lace it with a slow-acting poison that will make them die horribly. Buy a crop duster, fly over the Amazon. The spray is gasoline. Light as much as you can on fire. Do it in several trips. Buy radioactive materials. Dump them in the water supply of highly populated cities. Suicide bomb a UN meeting in a plane. Let's buy 100 WinRAR licenses and make a giveaway XD. There was a dude who won something like 60 million pounds and blew it all over a few years on cocaine and hooker parties. He was quoted as saying something like, I spent most of my money on hookers and blow and the rest I wasted. How do you spend 60 million pounds on hookers and blow in a lifetime, not to mention a few years? He must have shared the blow with people he didn't fuck, like a noob. Should have just founded his own coca plantation instead, hookers are also cheap unless he went for exclusively western ones and paid extra for raw dog. Donating it to anti-vax and flat earth research. Ask Lindsay Lohan. I feel like she never had a chance. She was the sole support for her family at 11 and never seemed to have any solid parental figure in her life that wasn't a leech and using her for something. She's definitely had issues and made mistakes, but I give her a pass. She started with so many strikes against her not of her making. Investing into a militia in East Africa. Edit, rip my inbox. My fat ass would probably spend it on food ngl. Buy pennies and gum. Stick them together and then stick that on the sidewalk. Never ever give money to family, they will blow it all and be right back where they are. Not to be intrusive but is this from experience? It's okay you can be intrusive I'm a open book. Yes it is, gave my mom 7 grand to fix a used car when I told her from the start if it gave problems just sell it. I was the kid that never said no because I felt bad and she would try and guilt trip me over it. I just felt bad she would work and end up with very bad pain in her feet and back from walking 10 hours a day. She never listened to me and the car ended up being totaled. So now she is taking the bus and walking 10 hours a day and complains to be that she is in pain. My dad gave my grandma about 5k just for general living expenditures for the year. Same year, my aunt, his sister, got a new kitchen. 
How did she pay for it? Grandma gave her the money. So basically, my dad accidentally bought his sister a new kitchen. I will use it to fill a pool with jello. Then I will jump into it from 10 meters, 33 feet, as some guy asked us in a previous Ask Reddit post. Golden State Warriors 2019 Championship Ring. Partying. With $10 million to spend partying, you're going to develop some fairly severe vices. Quite probably some expensive addictions. Then the big problem would hit when the money ran out and you could never reach those highs again, and spent the rest of your life regretting blowing all of that money that could have made you comfortable forever. I'm not saying don't party, but I am saying spending $10 million on partying would absolutely ruin your life unless you were actually earning enough to throw those sorts of events. Gift it to the US Treasury. Spending it all on Xbox Live one-year subscriptions, you will probably only use $2,000 worth at most of that 10 mil you spent. Well, rounding Xbox Live subs to $60 per year, and dividing into $2,000 gives us 33.33, repeating. So, roughly 33 years of Xbox Live, and if you started gaming at about 15, which is a reasonable estimate emo, you're talking 47 years old at the time of death. That'd be a bit of bad news, dying so young, but there is some good news. If you truly spent it all on live cards and they never expire, idk if they do or not, you'd have 166,666, also repeating, years of live subscription. Taking the average human life span off Google, 79 years, and dividing that means you'd be able to provide live for a total of approximately 2,109 people with what's left over. Assuming you take one off for yourself, roughly 2,108, but I'm done with math for now. I would buy $10 million Monopoly money. Edit, alright I didn't think that a comment about wasting money would be my top comment but I am thankful. Thank you Reddit. Post 2008 copies of Monopoly come with $20,580 and you can buy it on Amazon for $20. If you wanted to maximize your Monopoly money you could buy 500,000 copies and net yourself $10,290,000,000. Otherwise if you wanted just $10,000,000 you would need to buy 486 copies which would only actually cost you $9,720 real freedom units. Edit, wrong timeline, you get more bang for your buck in today's Monopoly. V Bucks or just some random in-game currency that does nothing but be the premium currency you use to buy cosmetics or speed stuff up. Buying $10 million worth of human feces and eating it. Investing in Blockbuster in 2012. Literally lighting it on fire and literally uploading it to YouTube for literally thousands of views. Donate to any political party. A bunch of hookers and cocaine. Buy everything I need for a plot of land somewhere remote, to build a tiny concentration camp find pedophiles, rapists, etc. put them in the camp. With Filipino children I bought off the black market. Promise them riches but never deliver. Never pay anyone anything keep the 10 million dollars spend it on an occasional bread and salaries for the guards. Have Reuters come over and declare me the worst person to have existed. Tell them about the 10 million deal. My name is now forever linked to the $10 million concentration camp. Buy all of the most expensive apps on the app store that are thousands of dollars on multiple accounts till you run out. Just go and buy the entire building and burn it to the ground. Or use it to slap people and give them that money. Becoming a boss babe and investing in my future, hun if you're interested PLS PM me to know about these amazing opportunities to work from home and earn 50k a month, selling these incredible essential oils that will cure your cancer. Spend it on organic burgers that will rot within a day. Donate it to a hate group or eat it. Donating it to Susan G. Komen for the cure. In app purchases. Reddit Gold. Read up on British girl Callie Rogers who won almost £2 million on the lottery at age 16 and blew the lot very quickly on designer clothes, three boob jobs and cocaine. She lost her baby because of cocaine abuse while pregnant, she got beaten up by another woman for boasting about how much money she had, and now she has trust issues because she has realized that people just wanted to be her friend for money. And now in her early 30s she looks a total state. She gave nothing to charity. 
Buy $2.5 million each of Facebook advertising TV advertising billboards robo calls all spouting your name, address, photo and the fact you've won 10 million you plan to spend poorly. Donating all of it to Trump 2020 campaign. Buying thousands of gallons of gasoline and dumping it into the ocean. I would literally just dump it into the ocean so I could tell people I gave it all to schools of fish just to see that look of absolute disappointment on their faces. Betting all of them on Romania winning the 2022 World Cup. Buy $10 million worth of small-sized tongue depressors. Then, get build in your popsicle stick mansion. Microtransactions in any EA game. Buy an expensive satellite phone on a premium call rate, plug it into a power source, link the service to direct debit from your $10 million bank account, dial a 24-7 premium rate sex chat phone line, keep the line open 24-7 and then just, walk out of the room. Fund the most expensive Adam Sandler movie ever made. Porn subscriptions. Helping to bail out the government in Venezuela. Donate to the Republican Party. Donate it all to Scientology. Helping out long-lost family and friends that decided to reconnect. Donate it all to the super-rich.